Hello and welcome to another episode of D&D Misfit Adventures brings you Pokemon Dungeon Master Journeys. Um, it's been interesting playing Pokemon while playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, but let's go and see what the Misfits get up to tonight. And don't forget to go down into our description and check out our friends over at minimegastore.com. Use the code MISFITS, all capitals, for 10% off of your purchases. Uh, books, WizKids, uh, miniatures, uh, also 3D printed miniatures, uh, terrain buildings, dice, dice towers. Um, uh, the, the list goes on and on and on. The best thing you can do is go and visit them. So where you left off last week, episode called Gone Fishing, because it felt like that was all we did. <laughs> um, you made your way through a cave. You caught an onyx and a manky. Um, manky or the primate? It was a primate. My apologies. Um, white <laughs> fluffy monkey thing. Um, and you made your way through the back of the cave, which brought you out on the ledge underneath a waterfall. You then made your way down to a beach, made your way along the beach, fishing while you went. Might sound like that wasn't a lot, but that took us three hours. So yeah. <laughs> you've now made your way along the beach and you've made made your uh you've finally got yourself onto the edge of Route 13 again. Hmm. After your very, very, very long fishing trip. Hmm. I think we should go fishing, lads. <laughs> Do you even have any more room for even more one? Oh yeah, that's true. So I, I am in a full party, I think. Hmm. Uh, I've got uh, Pearl Plume, Ekans. You have got a full six. Because you've got Arbuck. Yeah. So you you've got a full six. Uh the T Fling has got five. And T Fling. And the Goliath has got five. Hmm. That raises an interesting debate, though, because if we catch that jerk who stole our Pokemon, then we'll have to abandon some. Or just the PC. Yeah. Mm. TM? What am I about TM? The PC? Mm. What the hell did I say TM? <laughs> but yes, you don't have access to Bill's PC yet. Huh? Restoring your Pokemon. No. You always have... juggle. Remember, you started this campaign with your bad Pokemon trains. Mm. So we'll Even have to. Mm. Okay. So, oh, sorry, Karen. No, no, no. It, it was the. I was just going to share the screen with the map. Oh yes, please. For some reason, your faces aren't showing up. Can you all see the map? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Why can't they see your faces? There we go. You're here now. Mm. So. Yes, you have. Uh, you got into this sort of area on the corner of thirteen and made your way out to this little landlocked bit here. And you've made your way back along there, and you are now. Well, I suppose on the joining T junction of thirteen, twelve, and eleven. Right. So if my. Uh... If my map skills or anything, if we want to get to Vermilion, we need to follow well even. <coughs> eleven. <coughs> eleven. There we go. Eleven. Mm. Do you see like, the, like one of those fences that says Route Eleven? <laughs> what do you mean the a, 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 a nice a nice signpost? Yeah, or Picard. Well, I mean if you want to roll me a perception. Yeah, if you're looking for something in particular, you know the routine. Cool. Oh, excuse me. That's a 10. Ooh. I mean, it's not difficult to see a roadside. <laughs> you do see a roadside. You see, you see a selection of them. One of those nice big ones that pokes up and has 
different arrows pointing in different directions. Four arrows on there, one pointing west, saying seaside. One point one point in north. Excuse me, route eleven. One point in south, route thirteen. The one pointing west, which is the direction you wish to go, which should have route eleven on it, is all scratched off. Hmm. Scratched off. Does it look like it was scratched off recently, or is the kind of the wood and the carvings quite aged? Oh, wrong with investigation. Oh, that plus of that equals invest seven. <laughs> um, yes. It looks it, it looks like it wasn't done yesterday. Okay. But as for an age, you've got no idea. Mm. Um, mm. Interesting. Well, I know that the uh the Aztec uh synergy incorporated are in Vermilion. The name but, changes every week. Mm, but I don't know if they'd be the one to scratch this off. Because who do we know that? 11 is in that direction. We just kind of observe yeah. this and see. You've got your map. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So okay. go, well, if 12 is that way, 13 is that way, it's going to be 11. Mm. All right, so try on one's trying to steer people off the path. I'll say we follow it and give them a piece of our minds. So, shall we go there regardless? Yeah, I reckon so. I think we need to. We need to show these Aztec um, people he's boss. So yeah, let's do it. Assuming cool. they're part of Steam Pro Team Sprocket. I mean, we're doing this on the assumption that they're related. They might just be distinct, but until then, let's do it. Anybody else want their summer duvet? Can't just do it your summer duvet. Yeah. Oh, you got to mute him, Mick. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you want your summer. You want your summer duvet. Of course, you want your summer duvet. <laughs> the um so yeah so you start making your way i mean are you starting making your way are you choosing to go down the scratch route yes of course yeah you start to head down the scratched off pathway or what you assume to be route 11 mm -hmm. you travel for about 15, 20 minutes. All wrong, all wrong with your perception. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm using Rogu's character sheet. Right. <laughs> Let's swap that over. Right, right. Wait, no, oh, say no, no. 16. Michael said something about this. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, I think I thought you said something. What was your perception, did you say? Yes. Well, 15. 12. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough. As you're walking along, you're 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 used to being um jumped, surprised, cascaded by the amount of Pokemon that is generally hovering around in the forest. It's eerily quiet. Not are there, any, are there any like be heard. are there any like tracks, not even of animals, but like of people or vehicles at all? Well, on the pathway. So you're you're effectively walking through air quote tall grass. Hmm. But there are no tracks as such to be seen. Hmm. Um there are remnants of Pokemon that were there. Hmm. But Okay. It's eerily quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Can you look around? Is there any reason why they wouldn't have been there? Like anything unnatural in the area? Not to this point. Hmm. 
hopefully I think we just carry on. Make a note of that, but carry on. Hmm. You continue up through the path, and again, cutting across, making your way, finding finding a path. As you start to walk along the path, you can hear um, industrial vehicles really quite loud. Loud, loud, loud engine, big diesel engines, like do, 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 do. loud noises coming from within the forest. Are we only hearing these engines, or can we hear like analogous sounds of equipment? Like, can we hear chainsaws or that? Yeah, well, that, that, that was my that was my jackhammer impression. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. that's why I was the industrial vehicles. Hmm. All right, sweet. Um, interesting. Is there? Is it still quite far away from us? Can we judge or quite close? Your your. Uh, it's loud enough for you to consider it close. Hmm. You're sort of maybe quarter of a mile outside of the million city. And in the way that sound can sometimes echo through these kind of forests and open greens, can we pinpoint the direction the sound is emanating from? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's almost like it's all around you, but it's further up the path, but coming from in the forest. Okay. Hmm. All right, I think it might be taking a... Might be worth taking a look at this, lads. It might be those Aztecians. Yeah, it might be. Mm. That sounds like a plan. Mm. Yeah, give them a piece of our minds. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So you're fine to follow the sound, yeah? Yeah, I reckon so. Cool. So you, you start making your way through the underbrush, and I mean, it's, it's heavy foliage. Um... As you sort of, you, you, you suddenly, the noise gets so great, you're almost finding the end, having to put your own hands over your ears uh, to stop the sound. But as you sort of break through the um, the brush in front of you, you can see this huge uh, industrial site um, cleared, of, cleared of any trees. Roots have been torn out of the ground, logs stacked up on the backs of um wagons, lorries, trucks. Oh, what the a... f what the hell's going on here? You know, these people aren't very nice. It's getting not very like, nice. Yeah, they're not very nice, you know. They're like they're, they're head up our surroundings. Mm, yeah. yeah. Is there anyone around we can shout at? I mean, there, there, there are various guys around doing their jobs, cutting the guys with chainsaws, taking off low-level branches, trimming down the logs ready for transport. I'll say, Broger, the uh, the Scottish accent's most intimidating out of all of us. Maybe you should give them a, a good going at See what they're doing around here. Is it Broger getting ready to intimidate them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really ready to intimidate. See see the wildness in his eyes there. Yeah, the old Glaswegian enthusiasm. Come on, lad. Well, they're going to be shitting themselves. Well, so they're gonna be shitting themselves because they're they're <laughs> shit I rolled a nat 20. Yeah. On what? <laughs> On what? On everything. Intimidation. But you haven't intimidated. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What are you doing to be intimidated? You can walk up behind him and go, Ugh. Yeah. You to intimidate him. He's yeah. really he's Scottish. He's Scottish. He don't need to go say anything. He's so scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. It's a Scott. You're not a level seven barbarian. You haven't got intimidating presence yet. So what are you saying to this guy with the chainsaw? <laughs> What do I think you're doing? Hey, 
What do you think you're doing to the surroundings around here? Hold on. It's so dark. Right, right. What the bloody hell do you think you're doing to the surroundings? Chowing down trees at my job. Now, why would you ever do... <laughs> I started copying your accent. Now, why <laughs> would you be doing that? It looked a nice place like this. Is what I'm getting paid for. Who's paying you? Those guys. And it just points behind. Big sign says Aztecs in court. Whatever, I'm, whatever they're saying, you have to your double. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How much are you paid? <laughs> What's your income? <laughs> and if you've got anything worthwhile saying, you stop me from working. <laughs> well, what are the Aztecians uh, planning to do with this? Uh... Oh! Right, right. Station. Hey, big guy's got the idea of the questions. No, no. We uh, we're just uh, we're 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 logging this area, make it nice and uh, nice and um, open, and then they're gonna dig a big hole. Why? To make a big pool, like lakey thing. Why would they need a pool? Well, what about you see around there? No, those they, they, those as taking the 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 company, they're all about supplying water inland now, right? And what they want to do is they want to make it so that everything is water, mm. right? And we got all these watery Pokemon. So they like they like watering. I'm sure they make it a fishing hole. You can go boating. Don't be well, looking. Don't have a Pokemon that. Can't swim, but they're all right. They got the rest of the forest. We're only taking this bit. I'm only doing my job. I hmm. understand you're doing your job. Hmm. Is that the only tool that he has? He's just chopping trees. Yeah. Well, no, is that the only tool he's got? Is there multiple in the area? Oh yeah, there's loads. There's loads of tools around. No, hmm. if that was his only tool, I was going to break it. <laughs> right, yeah, no, there's there's loads of like it's you see you see like once once you've got your eye on this guy, you see that there are sort of six, seven, eight, nine guys all around um, chopping trees, cutting down. You got uh, makeshift cranes lifting the wood up, putting it on the back of carts, ready to be taken off. These lot are really getting on my nerves. Hmm. Uh, oh, I was going to do Scottish then. Um, Australian. Mm. Okay. This Neil Eds, uh, I the Aztecs are in Vermilion. Uh, do you mind pointing us to him? Like, where exactly is their building? We want to speak to him directly. Can't miss it. It's the one with a big, giant golden A on it. Ah. Are we able to go through and then in this workshop to get to the giant A that's supposed to be in there? Oh no, this is the building site. You want the head office, right? Edge straight down that way, and that'll bring you on the old edge of very million. Hmm. And then you can't miss it. Bloody great building. Big A on it. Hmm. All right, sweet. And what's your name, mate? The <laughs> why? Uh, 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 what, what do I fancy? Giles. Giles. All right, sweet. We'll reference you when we get there. With a G. Giles with a G. That's weird. Okay, no problem, mate. You've been very helpful. Thank you. We'll pass on the good news to your superiors. Oh, thanks. Mm. Okay, sweet. So it looks like we just head to Vermilion then. We can't really do anything here. Let's we'll try and uh, cut off the Aztec head at the source. Souls. There we go. You hope so, anyway. Mm. Yeah. As you, your... as you as you turn and start walking back towards the pathway, you hear a huge explosion. Just... Right, no. Oh, where is it now? <laughs> Do we look back? I'm going to look back. Yeah, I'm looking back to you. As you t as you turn around, there's almost a geyser coming out of the center of the hole that they started digging. 
Did mm. your best at water pipe? What what kind of liquid's got going out? Water. Water, mate. What other liquids is it gonna be? Oil lava. Oil. Lava. <laughs> and then Pokemon. Huh. Not none of okay. As a guy. <laughs> So there's a water main that they probably busted for the town that used to be in there that they're blocking. Hmm. Does it look like they've done it accidentally? Like, do their faces convey or no? Oh, interesting. Roll an insight. Okay. Because if you're lo- if you're looking at faces to see you mood, and then the audible oh shit as well, <laughs> um, insight seventeen. Yeah, no patting the back, shaking of hands. Okay, right. That's... Maybe they ha- maybe they were told to like get a connection from some place. So the water might be having like somewhere to go through to somewhere. And like they might be making that massive hole so that the geyser fills up the hole and blocks the water to the other place where it was originally going because it might be somewhere they don't like. That's really like long and explanatory, like not explanatory. Oh, and they're trying to drain the other towns to sell. Hmm. Yeah. Either way, yeah, sources. Like yeah. Either yeah, that's just like boring. It. I don't know, but it's all right. like either way, they're doing something a bit uh, dastardly here. I think we need to uh, put a stop to it. There's only one way. Is he a Pokemon battle, or we're gonna fight? Hmm. Why not both? You Get know what? Up. Sorry, let's go do this. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be up there. Right, cool. Let's get him in. Right, just so, not uh, sitting right with me. I'm just going to go go and start fighting. Throw hands. <laughs> You're going to go and start throwing hands? Yep. With my partner, Pokemon, fight me. We both have <laughs> beaten it. <laughs> well, wasn't expecting that. All right, I better get a battle mode ready. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, what are we doing? I'm... Because I think Mr. Pierce... Or Misty Pierce told us about the explosion and causing the guys in there celebrating and shaking hands. Like to me, oh. it's not feeling right. Like, yeah, I so mean, I'm just I, gonna go throw hands. Yeah, I meant at the Aztec people, but I'm quite happy to join in on this. Like, I see you take the lead and I join in. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> It's not what I mean, Why not? Yeah. I, I'll drain too. Oh my god! Right, yeah. I wasn't expecting this at all. So there is there is no tabletop ready. There's no nothing. So give me. That's right. Give me, I'm me in time. that mood. Or of... give me five. That's right. It gives me time to eat some meatballs. I know they're getting paid, but it just ruined a town water supply. Yeah, I know they have and they don't, and, kids and they're feed. celebrating for it. Well, you're assuming yeah. they've ruined the town's water supply, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, do I want that? No, I don't want that. Yeah, um, if they're uh, innocent, they wouldn't fight back, so let's find out. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I need my pond. Where's my pond? I don't know where my pond is. Oh, now nah, I'm gonna use that pond. Oh, a better pond. It's a better pond. Yeah, pond. This is why this is why my office is so freaking messy. So I don't know where everything is. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, I've got nothing to use as anything. So I'm good. Uh, what am I going to use as? Lugia. Hmm. 
do, 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 do. So I'll find stuff with tools. Okay, um, that lovely right okay yes they completely throw off a dm in the first cut <laughs> for 20 minutes of the session yeah, yes that people what <laughs> we're checking both equipment and <laughs> and people okay right so yeah, I don't know. Okay, all right. We're just getting down all the orb guys with the Pokemon. While Buff is doing that, what game would you recommend I play? Because I haven't played any since Diamond and Pearl. What's a good one for me to get back into? Your Depends on what um, kind of. I like um, console you want to go on. Mm. I said X. X is probably one of my favorite games. Okay. X and Y are good. I mm. I recommend um Heart uh Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They were also good games. Um, mm. because they were amazing games and they stretched to 16 badges because they basically got two different stories. Okay. Hmm. All right then. Yeah, because I'm quite easy and open. I'm happy to play anything. So yeah, I might. Do those then? X and Y, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Sorted. I did it, Heart Gold. The toughest thing about Heart Gold and Soul Silver at the minute is the second hand is about 120 quid. Really? Hmm. Yes. I need to start stealing. And me and Dad have a copy. Yes, I, we we have we have complete copies, including the little poker walker things. Oh, them. Which I, I don't have mine. any batteries for. Right. And a Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah, like a Tamagotchi with Pokemon. <laughs> Boom! There we go. One tabletop full of action out of nowhere. How's that? Good. Hey, very nice. Thank you. Completely out of left field. Right. There we go. And there's a cart somewhere there. There we go. Marvellous. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, you guys were heading back to the path, so you were heading away, so we're going to put you about there. Excellent. Right. How are you going to do this then, guys? So, nearest person. Nearest person. Um, I'm the uh, Warforge. Nearest person. So I'm going to go on to the nearest per person and we'll try and clop him one. Well, you don't quite get there. Do I have anything I can throw? Well, I like you guys. I don't. <laughs> Amazing. Will that wait? So, what are we beefing with all of them? Mm hmm. Are we beefing with all of them? I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be D and D beefing or Pokemon beefing. <laughs> Real beefing. Yeah. Well, Ray, beefing Ray, in Ray, general. Raise raise beefing to the point he wants to hit these things really hard with his stick. And I gotta go. If not, I will just go send. If I can't reach him, I'll go send Primate. Uh -huh. What the hell is a magic stone? I have spells. Uh -huh. You're an artificer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah, so you, you can't you can't get there, right? So, are you going to run and then throw out Primate? I'm going to go try for Primate. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Um... 
it says here, I can multi-attack. can make one low kick and then one go multi-chop. Yeah, man. So, low kick first. Yeah. 13 plus 5, 18. It definitely hits. Um... Takes eight points of damage. Can you make a decent um, strength saving throw, please? Good. Hold on. There we go. And that was a 10. You dead. fail. Dead. Oh, he's dead. These are just common builders. Ha! <laughs> right. Fish, I, you I, killed I, I someone. Was gonna, I was going to... Fist, mate, you took it too far. <laughs> I broke his leg. <laughs> oh no, his head's gone on. Not knowing what I've done, I might stop. <laughs> yeah, I think Mr. Pierce is kind of regretting it now. Like, ah, oh, we've killed the man. <laughs> and he just throws up. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Cool. Right. So I'll get rid of this then. <laughs> that was yeah. that was fun. <laughs> the regret in the eyes, right? So it, yeah, well, it just you, you attacked a guy. She's working. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Just do the bomb. Bob. Bob even wake up, Bob. What did you do that for? <laughs> Let's just say let's get, I got my wires crossed. <laughs> wires freaking cross, medic, medic. Ah, uh, see this guy running over in this like bright orange sort of high vis coconut helmet on. Comes over, pulls out a medicine kit, starts working on him. Guy just sort of stands out and goes. You guys don't get off of my site now, right? I'm going to call the police. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that's best. Come on, lads. <laughs> Let's head out. Yeah. Hmm. We, I, you know, I, I'm going to whisper this to the lads, not the good guy. We should still keep an eye on him to see what's happening because it could, like, you know, like get worse. Ah, oh, so you're saying we should kill all of them? No, no, we're not going to kill them. No survivors. <laughs> <laughs> we need to keep them alive, otherwise they're going to be murder hobos, and we're not murder hobos. Mm. I definitely was not about to do a spell that would have insta-killed everything in the area. Lies. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice. mm. Well, maybe not everything in the area, but majority of it. I probably would have started a forest fire. Broga, mate, do you have a reviving spell just to kind of get yeah, us out of this... But... Do I have yeah, any magic... kind of healing spell? I do actually. I do. I do. Oh, if you could, if you could do that on that Bob lad, that'd be that'd be great. He, yeah. the, the, the the medic has called out an electabuzz at a minute, and electabuzz is kind of rubbing his forearms to go clear. <laughs> yeah, I I clear! will cast. <laughs> I will cast uh heroism because it's a level one spell. Heroism is not a healing word. Yeah, it is. it's uh, two, H- 2 HP healing. Doesn't matter when it goes away. It's there for now. <laughs> I'm joking. I have aid, which isn't temporary. Yes, but it only gives him a dice roll. No, it doesn't even give him a dice roll. It's five. Five what? Other than that, I've got nothing else. Five what? Or five, five help. Does it? That's that's all it does. It's not a dice. Oh, it's okay. just yeah. It's just that you click it and you, so you 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 run over to this guy on the floor. What is what is what is what does aid look like? Uh, I don't know. I I, I I reach into the ground and I lift it up and some green sparkles <laughs> flutter around and then go into the guy and then he's alive again. Green sparkles. Like, well, not sparkles, like, 
you know, like in the Pokemon movies when they got like you see essence like floating around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Fair enough. You fill the guy with essence. Bob's Bob I sort of like wake up. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> uh, you fell. It's big, furry, what flash come before my eyes. Oh, must be time for a cup of tea, boss. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all, all's well that ends well. All right, lads, let's go home. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'll better not see your faces. Oh, you bloody will. Around one of our sites again. Oh, you bloody will. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot a cult here, mate. You can bloody yell. Yeah, next time we won't revive them. You're next. I don't think I'm threatening these guys. These builders. <laughs> like, guys, we shouldn't be attacking these guys. We should be attacking the ones that are really paying them. Mm. If you take their workforce out, they can't do shit. Yeah, attack the payroll. Even if they're all just innocent people trying to earn money. Yes. <laughs> mm. Attack the innocent! Murder them all! So, so hey, that, happens to, that what happens to me in my work site. <laughs> yes, but you work with scaffolders. I'm not surprised. Hey, don't you start. <laughs> the After... Attempting murder on one of these builders and then uh, threatening physical bodily harm on the site for Ben. What are you doing? Try follow the uh, try follow the instructions of the other no worker. You make your way back to the path and you start to head. West back to Vermilion, well, to Vermilion City. The sound of trucks and machinery um, is now in the far distance as you step from trodden path to cobblestone streets. The city itself bustling, loads of people walking around, um, various various people and Pokemon. Um, you see a Poker Center, you see a Pokemon. You see that there is a Pokemon gym Ooh. still standing. And very 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 uh distinctly. In the middle of the city, this huge, maybe 10, 11 story building with a massive golden A in the middle of it. Oh, typical. So let's first heal up mm. for anyone that has been injured. If we haven't healed up yet. Mm. Yeah, good thinking. So you're going to the Pokemon Center first. Yes. Yes. And as you work, as you walk in, Nurse Joy looks a bit different. You're not the it's... one I know and truly love. No, <laughs> <I> <laughs> let me guess it's Jesse. Nurse Joy is a six foot four bearded man. Hey, doing, Butch. <laughs> oh no, it was Bert, wasn't it? It was Bert. A um And with a with a, a South London gruff, yeah, <laughs> hello, lads, and welcome to Vermilion City and the Pokemon Center. What can I be doing for you? <laughs> Man, I don't trust you. Because <laughs> if I give you my Pokemon, I might not get them all back. Are you saying this to his face? Because does he look like they go trying to pat us down? No. Hmm. 
subconsciously I'll give him my my Pokeballs. Yeah, just a good heal up. Is that what you're after? Yeah, just a good heal up. No mm. worries, no worries. All six of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put them in the machine. What about the rest of you? They sort of stand there. Just nice day, you know. Pretty, pretty good weather out there, isn't it? Just pulling the thing down, pressing the button. They'll be done in a jiffy for you. Any of the rest of you? Mm, yeah, I, please. I, Mike. I would like my Pokemon healed as well. Yeah. It's all right. Well, all right. Yeah, no worries. And he just sort of takes all the balls, fits them in the machines, sort of lowers the thing, press the buttons. Uh, dun, 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 dun. But yeah, not that quick. So he Once, comes back. Uh, he comes back. Huh? I'll be asking like anything, any news, and because about other gym, gym leaders, and all so on. Well, that's interesting. The uh, the only bit of news uh, truly travelling through Vermilion City at the minute is that uh, all the gym leaders in the uh, in the old Kanto region is where we are, are uh, uh, are selling their gyms up, been getting mighty good offers. So I've been hearing. Hmm. You know where they've been? Like, where they hang out? Who, what, the gym leaders? Yeah. Well, I suppose if they're not in their gyms, they may be off in the old wilderness doing some sort of Pokemon leader training, or they might be heading off uh, to distant lands, open up a new gym in a new region. I hear the Alola region is lovely this time of year. Okay. Do we... I can't remember whether that fits into the stories we've heard so far with other people. Because my initial reaction was builders at the other gyms thought the trainers had just gone missing. Is that what happened? Or am I misremembering? You're misremembering. Cool. The gyms were being bought out. And so far, the two gyms that you visited are both being changed into water gyms. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that does fit. Sweet. Cool. Glad I'm, glad it, I'm glad it fits because if it didn't, it <laughs> yeah. mm. okay, sweet. Um, oh, yeah, first batch is ready. Here you go. Thank you. Couple more minutes for the others, but mm. yeah, anything else I could be helping you with? Uh, who's the gym leader for your town? It's a very nice building. That's a good question. Yeah, who was the gym leader for me? City? Ah, trust you to be the one who asked that question. <laughs> Check my notes. Oh, yes, of course it was. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that, guys. It's Lieutenant Surge. That was the guy. Electric. The lightning guy. Yeah. Hmm. A bit of flashing from for the rumours. Bit flashy. Is that is that an electrical plum? No, not oh. intentional. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> not inten- not intentional. Not plan, an intentional but... electrical electrical pump pun. But yeah. Yeah, no, Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, he was he was our uh, he was our gym leader. Was or is? Well, uh, as far as I'm aware, was he may still be around. He hasn't uh, he hasn't had a gym fight for well, at least. So looks up at the calendar for well, at least four days. Rumor as he received a quite healthy offer, and uh, retirement was in the beckoning. 
Hmm. So who's a new guy then? Who Don't changed know. to the giant A? Don't know. No, the, the giant A is the uh, older Aztecian building ink corp guys. The building firm seemed to be getting all the work all the way across Canto. Nice mm. bunch of lads. Pretty good. They did the refurb on this place. Good job, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I've it's heard nice. there. It's a bit water themed, ain't it? Well, you know, if you like water, you like water. I mean, I'm not against them. Oh, I'm speaking it... of water ones, yours are ready. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yoink. Well, what type of, would you, what type of mon do you like? What me personally? Well, that's a good question. I like ones that don't take up a lot of room. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I've got this little fella down here, isn't I? Come here, come here. And he picks up, and it's a little, little Evie. Is my little well, is buddy right now, or would you want to go to one of its other versions? Why would I want to change him? Look at him, he's beautiful. <laughs> oh. So, in that case, lads, um, did we want to, when all the balls are all finished, did we want to stop by the gym first, have a look around, or head straight for this Aztec lot and uh, give them a good beating, but not kill them? Yeah, we can kill them. Is there no way in Dungeons & Dragons just to knock someone out? There is, of... but you need to tell the Dungeon Master before you roll the attack dice. Right, okay. So That's where do... I messed up. <laughs> right. You just the assumed same, death. This, and the same thing as when he killed the uh, the the worker in the uh, basement of the murder murder she wrote mystery one. Oh yeah. Mm. When you once you rolled that attack, dice, murder she did. <laughs> yeah. she did. Once you roll that attack dice, that's it. You need to tell me what you're doing before you roll that dice. Right. Okay. Sweet. That's good to know. All right. <laughs> Cool. Because uh, it's, it's like, so if you go, I want to knock them out or I want to uh, beat them up to the point where they're not dead, but they might tell me stuff. Hmm. Those like non lethal blows. Hmm. And they go, I hit them with my double sided axe. That's a lethal <laughs> blow, regardless. If you yeah. hit them with the soft end of your axe, not the, like, the in the face. Hmm. Then we're talking knockout blows. Mm. All right, sweet. Cool. I'll keep note of that. Keep cool. it forward in it for, for campaign three. <laughs> yeah, just knock everyone out. Okay, yeah. So should we head to the gym first? I head to the Aztec. Don't mind looking around the gym. Yeah. I always go all talks in the gym. Yeah, don't mm. run off yet. Here you go, lad. Dude. Last the last lot for you. There you go. Yeah. I think I'll say, really... guys, that's the longest conversation I've had in weeks. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. You're very welcome. It was nice talking to you. Evie! Fetch! <laughs> oh. As you're walking out, I'll roll me a perception check. Okay. Perception. My perception is actually horrendous. <laughs> 16. Uh, why don't I go racing that 20? 34. 12. Okay. Enough for all of you to hear, really. Um, you sort of hear in the background, there's like a a, a wireless radio um, playing. And you hear, please be on the lookout for three gentlemen. They made their way onto a work site this afternoon, attacking one of the workers, almost leaving him bludgeoned to death. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. They turned up, they attacked one of my workers, and then they threatened my own life. That was the word of the on-site foreman for Aztec Inc. Corp. Please keep your eye out for these gentlemen, as they may be 
lethal and crazy. No, that looks like you done. <laughs> no, they sound like uh, wrongins to me. <laughs> You've got it into a light pickle, you know. Don't know what you mean. And now let's go back to our favorite song. Gotta catch him with you and me. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm. so shall we go to the gym or Aztec Corp? I mean, uh, to be honest with you, lads, I want my getting like a little disguise or something because uh, I think we might be in a bit of heat here. All right, so where the fuck are we going to get disguise? Well, the there's like a, there's yeah, a shopping mark. fashion cart. And you know how the shop know that we are three gentlemen. Well, let's go in one at a time. Let's... I'll let Bro Broga go in first. He'll buy something. Then he comes out. We'll go in. Sorted. Do you even have any money? Oh, yeah. We don't do You it. do? Oh, my yeah. God. I'm absolutely rich. Sweet. Three costumes it is in. No. Yeah, how much money does everyone have? In Pokemon, how do you make money? Pokemon Battle? By killing people. No. Yeah. Pokemon Battle. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Sort of right, I am. Hmm. All right, I'll go into the pokey shop first. Out, out of red top, in the blue top. Yeah. Lovely. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon. What can I do for you? Oh, Will you sell any change of clothes by chance? Oh, you're one of those. Pokemon fanatics, aren't you? Yes, we can do something for you. Okay. <laughs> it's Welsh and Norwegian. <laughs> I like the fact that I'm just gotta throw, gotta throw random voices out, man. Can't keep doing just plain accents. It's boring. <laughs> they, 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 they pull out a um a rail, and on this rail are three costumes. Two medium size, one quite large. That's convenient. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I said anything, yeah. One is a Charmander suit. One is a Bulbasaur suit. And the, <laughs> the large one is a Squirtle. <laughs> yeah, I'd be up for that. Well, paper, scissors, I'll choose Bulbasaur. <laughs> well, no, because you're the smallest. What do you mean I'm the smallest? We've got two, two medium-sized people. Two mediums and a large. Well, the large is obviously going to be Squirrel. Wait, you, you want to be Bulbasaur? Yeah. Always cross time. Yeah, I love the fact you're shouting us under. Do you want to be Bulbasaur? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd hurt. room. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll take... Wait, actually... Actually, how much? Oh, For all three. That is a good question. Yes, very good. Two gold pieces, costume for you. I'll take all three. Please take <laughs> Wow. Okay, thank you. Very nice. You're a very good customer. Thank you very much. So just removed six gold pieces. Cool. And I'll walk out to the guys. I'll... Look at the look at the scrap, I'll just throw it at Misty first. <laughs> I'll say, You want to be Bulbasaur, right? I was like, I just put it on his head. You can do that yourself. These Can't are these it. are these are full onesies. Beautiful. All the way up to the uh, the the hood that comes over. Two. I'll try and find like an alleyway or something more well, not I, open. I really, con really much con wish I had guys in costumes yeah. I'm conscious lads that this might be the opposite direction I think we're going too incognito to the point where we'll draw more attention uh, but yeah let's go for it why not we'll just go claiming that we're pokey pokey fans oh yeah, yeah. It's sad. Mm. Mm. or just pretend to be the Pokemon that'd be fun <laughs> no <laughs> squirtle <laughs> Misty Pierce was squirrel. <laughs> so... <laughs> Baba, Baba, duh. 
pissed his bubbles at all. So I just say this is my for my for my own memory more than anything else. <laughs> and Broga is Charmander. So Broga's got my favourite. <laughs> So you get yourself all dressed, and I mean, as you would expect, you look at each other and you look ridiculous. Remember those times when you were walking through the tall grass and you end up running into a Pokemon fan and you think, man, what is that guy wearing? Well, now you are that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I can see why he done it. It's <laughs> fun as hell. <laughs> just, to, just a shame that he... I couldn't find the Pikachu or the Eevee. Did he? Yeah, I went with the three star. I went with the three starters for Kento. Yeah, nice. But yeah, so you 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 step back out into the alleyway. People start looking over their shoulders and sort of catching glimpses of these this seven foot tall um, squirrel walking down the middle of the high street. It's very stocky. <laughs> Complete and utter me our metal. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the three the three of you now stand in the middle of the town. What what what's your plan from this point? Was it Jim or Aztec? Uh, it was, yeah, it was Jim. We were going to look there first. Have a look, see if we can spot anything or any clues or anyone. Fair enough. You start heading your way to the gym then. As you get to the front of the gym, uh, you can see that the uh, the front doors are uh, shut with a chain wrapped around them and a padlock. Hmm. And in the window, there is a sign that says sold. Hmm. <sighs> okay, fair enough. They're not here either. God, we're never going to get badges, are we? Oh, well. Cool. So, right. Is it blurry or dark inside, or can we see movement? Uh... I mean, you can look through the window if you like. Yeah. And roll me an investigation. That's an eight. Um, you picked like, the only window that's really been misted up. You know, they, they put that like white foamy stuff on the inside of sole buildings so you can't look in the window. Hmm. You saw I walk up. Oh, you got, it's my lemon dolls. <laughs> That's a shame. Mm. But there are no lights on. That's what you're right to get you. Cool. Let's try as to. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> cool, yes, that's what we'll do. Head over to the big golden arches. Or arch, one arch. It's the, it's the, yeah. They've got the golden arches. We've got the golden arcs. Hmm. They got the big neck. I've got the big neck. So, <laughs> mm. he, uh, so yeah. So center of town, huge, massive building, standing 10, 12 stories high. This massive golden A in the middle of it. The whole building lit up like a Christmas tree. As you can imagine being in Vermilion City, the city of electricity. Um, yeah, lit up, lit up like an absolute Christmas tree, flashing and shining, a beacon in the middle of the town. See, is the uh, is the entrance locked or guarded, or is it just an open door policy? We could walk in. I don't know. You have to Ooh. check. All right, let's just start walking towards the door. See what happens. Mm -hmm. in, our, in our starter onesies. 
Your starter onesies. You get to the door. You open it. Ooh, easy. Yes, we're halfway there, lads. Okay. Um, once we enter, can we see any people? Yes. And, and so, and as you enter, it is, it is what you expect of a ground floor of a big building. There's plants indoors. There's a running walk before over in the corner. Very, like, very luxurious, very, uh, very je ne sais quoi, uh, mm. etc. as you walk in. And one receptionist sitting there quite happily just uh, right in a way, pair of glasses on, so looks up at you. Oh, wasn't expecting any Pokemon fans today. What can we do for you? Um, can we talk to the chairman of this establishment, please? I'm afraid the uh, the 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 chairman is unavailable for uh, conversations as such at the moment. Very busy, as you can tell, with all of our acquirements of the Kento gyms. Anything else? Hmm. Can we have a tour around the building? Um, tours take place between 10 and 12 in the morning. I'm afraid you've missed today's tour. But if you wish to come back in the morning, I'm sure they would uh, love for you to join the tour group of Pokemon fans. Cool. Uh, <laughs> right, uh <laughs> Cool. Hmm. I got nothing. Uh. Nope. Cool. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. my, I got another question that just came to my mind. I do apologize. It's okay. What's the fixation with water, may I ask? With water? That's not us. That's all the wind. If you're uh, if you're on about the uh, gyms being converted, that's not us. We are just doing our jobs. I understand. I just I know it might be customer um, privacy. It just was intrigued. Not necessarily customer privacy. Definitely customer preference. Oh, can I ask then who is the the client that's... and she sort of puts her pad down pushes her glasses back on and goes I'm afraid that that uh, information is uh, unavailable for you at this moment in time but if you wish to come back tomorrow for the tour uh, you will be most welcome no thank you and I'll take my leave oh before you leave please please take a pin oh <laughs> And it's just it's the A on the front of the building. Just go cool. as a pin. Yeah, I'll add it. I'll take it. Thank you so much. Are there multiple pins or is it just the one? No, it's just the one. Looks like an A. Ah, for fuck's sake. All right. Cool. Right. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Thank you. If I wasn't a more help there, fist. I uh, I panicked. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> cool, all right. <laughs> I guess we'll come back tomorrow then and for this tour then. Um, Why not? Unless, oh, unless we make a distraction, sneak past, past, past. Past. <laughs> yeah. Sneak past. <laughs> Can any of our Pokemon make smoke bombs? Yeah, I had one. It's called Reezings. Oh, yeah, he's gone. All right, fair enough. <laughs> hmm. I mean, since we're talking about the world of Pokemon, Onyx could, like, make a tornado of some such. Oh, that's a good shout. shout. Yeah, um, but cause... if you bring out Onyx, he's got a fixation with Mr. Beer. Mr. Yeah, it's because he hit him with the... With oh, the yeah, one. good point. Hmm. Yeah, all right, let's avoid that. Should we check it, though? Because it's been a while. <laughs> a couple... 
Yeah, he might, he might, is, theories, he he might wanted... not kill you. <laughs> he might have warmed up to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Now nah, let's. I think let's leave that for now, just because Onyx. If we summon Onyx here, it's going to be quite obvious what we've done. <laughs> He's not the most subtle of creatures. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. So yeah, shall we wait until tomorrow? Be on this tour and then sneak off. I think that's mm-hmm. our best bit. Get the information that we need. Yeah, exactly. We can ask stupid questions. They'll probably answer them. Cool. All right. So we just need to find somewhere to chill for a day then. I got a plan, but it's. Oh. We have to go away until night. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right then. Let's do that. And I will let them know in a group, in a private area. We could try um, stay in the gym that's locked up. Mm. Okay. Just, just in case, um, the gym are uh, the gym leaders are not essentially disappeared, mm. but are just locked up inside their gym. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be they up for that. Left. Mm. And so, how do you suppose we break into him? They need to find some good tools. If people are good at t- tools, or we got Pokemon. Oh yeah, they could just smash it. All right. Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's do that. Cool. So I think that's what we're going to do then. Is we're going to scout the gym and uh, try breaking and entering. Mm-hmm. And claim quarters points. Fair enough. Right, okay then. So you make your way back to the gym. It's, it's, it's evening time now. So the sun's still up, but it is slowly starting to go down. And as the evening draws in, you make your way back to the... Are you going back to the front door of the gym? Trying to back door. Okay. Or is it exquisite? The... The... The back door of the gym is... um, uh, uh, fenced off and you can see that they've already started putting building tools etc in this fenced off area cool do they have bolt cutters in there mm, would they have bolt cutters I don't know uh, roll are you going to be investigating roll me an investigation cool Setting on the dice. Plus five. So 22. For a 22, you think I'd say, yeah, there's bolt cutters there. So, yeah, there's bolt cutters there. There's all there's all manner of tools. There's, uh, you know, uh, rudimentary jackhammers. There's chisels, hammers, saws, cutters, all sorts of stuff. And just to be annoying, I'll take all the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Just to be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do that work and they don't have batteries. <laughs> Using oh. energy Pokemon. <laughs> so I'll go try cut cut the chains. Cool. Athletics check with your bulk cars. Yeah. 17. Yeah, that's enough to cut through a chain. Are you cutting the back door or the front door? If it's still um, there with the back back door, I'll do that. 
fair enough. Um, oh, be back. Yep. Until you <laughs> cut the you cut the chain to the door. Yep. Oh, all right. Let's uh, Sally sneak in then. Oh, definitely. In our Pokemon onesies. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> As you step in the back door, you step into the gym sort of arena area. And it's still how you envisaged it or remembered it because you would have attempted to win this gym badge at some point during your three years as bad Pokemon training. <laughs> The floor is still a black shimmer. The uh, the sides are still set. Everything is still in place. Um, nothing has changed or moved or been disturbed yet. But you can mm. see that it's, 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 it's dirty in there. It's unkept. Are there any rooms that are making noise? Any dim lights around? Is it completely barren? Completely barren. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well, it doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh. Just find it too weird that the gym leaders are giving up. Doesn't sound right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if they are getting paid or not. Mm. But you'd hope that at least some of the uh, gym owners would be so into their Pokemon and such diehard um, gym owners that no price could be put on their livelihood. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a strange one. All I do know is that when we get a tour tomorrow, we'll find out. Mm. Is that still the plan to join the tour tomorrow? Or are we trying to break? Yeah, get and... some information. Yeah, check okay. the facilities. Mm. Okay, sweet. So I'm guessing we're uh, hunkering down for the night in here then, until the morning. Yep. Yeah. Um. It does be annoying. I'm going to use. Is it like marble? What's that? What the floor? Um, it's a hard shimmer, more like it, more like onyx. And I'm not talking about the Pokemon, the <laughs> the, the the black marble esque. I suppose, yeah. So, I will use some. Light of light, make a makeshift campfire. Okay, and I know it's dangerous, but I'll probably chuck them um, the batteries, <laughs> batteries in as well. Mm. Okay, so there's they can't say that it's us that nicked them. Oh, right, good point. Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, my, this stuff wouldn't have had batteries, but yeah, it's cool. What batteries you did manage to nick? You stole a battery without a radio. There you go. Oh, so the power tools ain't power tools. Well, no, because they their, their power tools would be um, hydraulic or petrol. Because, you know. Fine, just remind me to go punch in the tankards. <laughs> but, yeah. As you start to cuddle down for the evening, then, with this makeshift fire made of batteries in the middle of the Perfectly <laughs> safe. Did you guys know that I actually have a spell that could have just saved that from like everyone? Oh, why don't you speak up? Because you, you didn't ask. Why did? Why did they go ask? Oh, they a terrible friend. He knew for I... three years. <laughs> he didn't tell us anything. Ah, oh, freaking out! One of my favorite jokes from the Inbetweeners was like, 
um, oh, Neil, I didn't know you drove. Oh, you didn't ask. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. We need to ask you about every possible event in your life <laughs> in order for you to tell us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, That's correct. Okay, fair enough. Okay, okay, well, you can you can set the campfire uh, when we next break into a gym. Campfire? No, no, no. I make a bonfire. Oh, even better. So you start to tuck yourself down for the night. And you sort of start snuggling. Give, it, give me some of that. All roll me a perception check. But if you've got an ability for hearing, this is where you'll get advantage. But I think that was the other campaign. Mm. No, but I don't hear a thing. <laughs> I've got an eight. But then again, I've only got four hours. Mm. Sixteen. So I can see, yeah, I think it is that. You got a roll, bro, or what? Six inactive, motionless state. Yeah. You can you can appear in inert. Oh, you can sentry. see here as normal. Sentry state, yeah. So you're not sleep. You're not sleeping. This is before you snuggle down. Oh, okay. And yeah, oh, that's not very good, is it? Three, three, cool. Hmm. Um, only Misty Pierce uh, has any luck. Misty Pierce, you hear a sort of knocking coming from the back of one of the uh, bleachers to the edge of the Pokemon arena. Hmm. So we're all still awake at this point, or like tuckering down. Yeah. Okay. But you hear just just a, a slight knock, like a just a. Hmm. All right, excuse me, lads. I'm just gonna check something. I heard a little knocking. Might be nothing, but do you want back up? Uh, mm, yes. Uh, and I'll follow. Probably follow Misty. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. It's probably nothing, but it'd be worth checking anyway. You step up onto the bleachers and you follow the noise, and underneath one of the seats, you spot just. Gently moving, a black Pokeball with a lightning sh- bolt on it. Ooh. That sounds fancy. Oh. Okay. Can I... Can I check um, our box um, Pokeball? Just to compare the two. Yeah, well, our, our box Pokeball was purple with the symbol for that gym. Yeah, that's what I was going to go ask is... So the, this is the symbol of the badge for the Vermilion gym. Yeah, that's what I was trying to compare. Looks like it's Surge's one. Hmm. If you want to go take it, take it, mate. Yeah, oh, I mean, it doesn't really fit my MO. Um, I think the only one who's got any room is Roger. I um, think you got room, it's just a temporary thing. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay, let me. Um, all right, I'll take it and I'll probably head outside to release it just to see what it is out of curiosity and then bring it back in. Fair enough. So you're you're gonna go you're gonna go out into the yard, release this Pokemon. Yeah. Cool. On your own? Anybody going with you? I'm gonna go with with Missy again. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
With that, with that free broke is just yeah. He's laying on top of Onyx. Just kind of... <laughs> um, but yeah, you go out, you go out the back. You hold the Pokeball. You release the Pokemon inside. And as soon as the Pokemon hits the deck, let's roll for initiative. No oh, crap. Rock roll. Wait, I don't need to roll for initiative. I'm asleep. Yeah, you're, you're inside and asleep. So cool. Um, Ultra, wake up. <laughs> Help us. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I can't because they're both. I got a 16. Sorry, I'm just. It sucks because Missy's only got water time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, I, and I rolled a five. <laughs> oh, sh- right. you have to check my mind which one to chuck out. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't do it. I hope it's not Zapdos. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> if it was Zapdos, welcome to TPK. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, where's my thing? There is no go away. Yeah, this one. Oh, look, that looks really familiar, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's very the guy bucky the leg. <laughs> and 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 we got uh, a Goliath and a Tiefling, and they throw Tiefling the ball asleep. out. And he goes, huh? Oh, the Tiefling. Tiefling asleep. And, uh, and one of them. And, uh... Oh, that's cute. Aww. Right, so yes. Uh, what were the... Initiatives? I got a 16. Now I got a five. Yay. Okay. So, wow. This hasn't happened to me yet. I go first before you pick your Pokemon. (laughs) Damn. Okay. Yeah, I would. So you're you... going to do Ash Catcher on us? <laughs> Basically, yes. Which one of you conducts electricity the best? Hmm. Does Pikachu know now? Of course not. <laughs> but Pikachu's going to go for the guy that was hold- that's holding his ball. Oh, uh, word. Which will be... Ooh. Uh, yeah, was it... Original Pikachu or not? Pikachu. That's the question. It's a Pikachu. <laughs> Is he uh, chunky Pikachu or skinny Pikachu? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of the Pikachu. It's chunky massive. Pikachu. Um, that will be. I don't look like chunky Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus so, Christ, he's six feet tall. Yeah. The um. Uh, that so was, skinny that Pikachu. was 17 to hit, Misty Pierce. Damn, yeah, that hits. So you're getting hit with Thundershock. Oh. Which will do uh, no damage. Got through dice on the floor. Level. Yay. That's better. Seven points of lightning damage. Damn. And can you roll me a concentration, constitution saving throw, please? Yes. <laughs> On save twenty five. You're absolutely fine, and then that will bring it to uh, Fist Ketchum's go. Cool. I'm going to go bring out a lap press. Lap press. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm going to go do this. Oh. 
because I'm going to go do sing. Oh. Can you make me a charisma save, please? Charisma? Wow, Pikachu's got really high charisma. <laughs> Pikachu. 16. Damn. All right. Like, I just want to point out, Pikachu stats, he's minus everything except for charisma. All right. Minus strength, minus intelligence, minus dex. Except for charisma, plus four. Hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. Well, he was played by Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yes, I'll go. I like I like that film. Hmm. Right. Is that is that is that uh Lapress's turn? Yep. Cool beans. Misty Pierce, who's coming out? All right, let's uh, let's see. Do we just go overboard so we get rid of it? Um, yeah, I haven't used my cloister yet. Let's throw out cloister. Jesus Christ. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's going to kill it. Right. Cloister, mate. Use tackle, if you please. And that will be a <laughs> twenty three to hit. It hits. Cool, then that will be a the ones that want always at the bottom. That'll be a seven bludgeoning damage. Nice. Um, as you hit, oh, as you hit, can you make me a Constitution saving throw, please? What for cloister? Yes. Okay. That is nineteen. Uh, still absolutely fine. Pikachu's looking a bit, uh, a a bit panty, a bit breathy. And is going to go for uh, Cloister, because Cloister just hit him, with another Thundershock. Mm. Uh, which will be a nat 20. Damn. No! That's all right. I, I don't even think with if I do max damage, it will touch Cloister's hit points. Um, and that will be... Uh, nine doubled 18 points of lightning damage. Okay, fair enough. Oh, and doubled again 36 points of lightning damage because you're a, okay, because you're a water type. Yes, cool. All right, then. Um, fifty. Hmm. I'm gonna go try again with Sing. Make that save. Uh, what was it? Charisma. Yeah, charisma save. Please. Yeah, I'm good. Nineteen. Yep. And then free action. Go talk to Misty, saying just let him get, just put him in his bowl. Hmm. If he's panting like that, just put him in the ball before you we actually butcher him. Yeah. All right. Good chat. Pikachu, mate. Return. Oh. Yeah, because it's already his ball. You're not trying to actually catch him. He returns. Cool. I think I'll get a meaty hit on my cloister, though. And I'll just kind of rub the cloister and comfort it. And cut my hand on the spikes. Yeah. Thanks again, that fresh. You, you done well, girl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let her return in the enough. ball. I can't go high enough for a lap press. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. So return it to its pool. I think we head in and tell Roger. Well, I was going to say the good news. It's not really good or bad. Uh, 
just informed Roger that we've now got ourselves a Pikachu. No, and we'll try hitting the hay. Mm. Everyone's rested up. Mm. Is uh, Roger sleeping when we come back in? Yeah, bro. Roger was away before you guys left. So mm. you're you you you've taken um, Pikachu's ball, yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're now carrying six. Hmm. Cool. Certainly. Michael's still on five. Excellent. So yeah, so you come in, you sort of stare at this this uh, black poker ball with the lightning strike down it, knowing that you've now inherited a uh, a lively Pikachu. Mm. As you cuddle down for the night. In your very warm and cuddly onesies. Mm. And good time for a break. Hey, all right. Boom. So, after discovering a Pikachu in a gym and uh, having a long night's rest, you now wake to a glorious sunny morning. Excuse me. Sorry, uh, sorry, you quickly leave the back. Mm. As we don't want to be too it, we're already in the trouble with the scaffolders, aren't we? Oh, yes, all right, yeah, let's uh, let's subtly head out. Make sure to collect your onyx, Bodger, don't leave him behind. I mean, I'm already on, to- I'm already on top of him, so I'm just gonna like up on the front and start riding him. What is um. Why is yeah, how, how, how is he get through the door? I was actually just about to do that. So as he tries to leave, he smashes the doors off the hinges. <laughs> there goes being being stealthy's out the window. Well, off the bloody door. <laughs> Why is there a Charmander riding that Onyx? How is um Onyx responding to me in my presence? Oh, yes, because he was asleep. Let's have a look, shall we? (laughs) The roll wasn't that bad. You sort of catch Onyx's eyes sort of look towards you and you hear just a... Mm. Can I attempt to feed it some food as an offer of... um, What's the word? Friendship? No, it's a bit too far. Um, <laughs> please don't kill me. Yeah, as a please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, ship. Yes. Mm. Animal handling check. I'll mm. help him because it. I'm uh, eating uh, food. Well, I mean, because I'll help him too. I was going to give him disadvantage, so helping him would would make. Yeah, I'll give him the, po- the poggy food. The help oh. well flat. I'll I'll rub the back of his head because I'm that's where I am. Oh, thank you. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> so he gets advantage because he's got two. Yeah. No, don't no, work like that. Doesn't work like that. Why? Because I can bring the DC down, but it doesn't work like that. Mm. I bring the DC down. Man. <laughs> oh, six. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost in disgust as you offer the food. Mm. And then just starts pulling away. Okay, so not hostile. Right, I can work with I can work with the cold shoulder just as long as it's not hostile. Cool, fair enough. All right. Fair enough. I'll win him over, don't worry. Cool. So what time was that uh tour again, lads? It was like ten to twelve. 10 to 12. All right, sweet. So we'll start at 10, finish at 12. Hmm. All right, sweet. What sort of time is it now, approximately, Mr. Dum? 
Oh, well, it's, it's morning, so you woke, you woke up nice and early, so at seven o'clock. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we woke nearly everyone else up with an onyx barging through in a door or a gym. <laughs> onyx, onyx is literally taken out of the back of the building. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Is it worth scaring, scaring the uh, the Aztec building? See if there's any escape routes, just in case someone catches us being a bit nosy. Saying that it's just a high rise building. If we're on the twelfth floor, we can't really escape other than jump down. Cool. All right then, that settles that. All right, ignore me, lads. Um, next, how far? Is there anything we want to do before taking the tour? Like if we want to stock up on things, get some, I don't know, get some medicines, get some foods, um, because it might turn a bit ugly. Mm. I mean, weirdly, one of the things you need to do is earn some money. I can't imagine you're all very, you're, you're very rich. Hmm. Yeah. That's a good point. So, how much money do we get per? Like, if we just picked on a random kid, like, how much money would we get from that in this world? You you don't really know. You you. I mean, I'm just gonna say you're great at picking off kids, like stealing their mm. money. It's like mm. something you're really good at, which means it is possible because you know you do it. All right, sweet. So, is there anyone around we can challenge to a fight? There, I mean, it, it is the world of Pokemon. Everybody's there. Everybody has a Pokemon. Okay. Well, yeah. In order to get some money, I think we try and pick some fights then. Because we're a bit on the skin of our asses. So just tell, just tell me the kind of guys that you're the, the, to go up against. The smallest and youngest. Ain't there a bas- Battle Chateau? <laughs> or a Battle Calf? Hmm. You earn a free breakfast if you win a battle. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? The battle yeah. caps. I remember when it was I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, roll me a D100. Okay, well done. <laughs> that's the newest generation, is battle caps. Yeah, I know the battle caps. There's 95. <laughs> Damn. Yes, Nine. there is definitely a battle calf in Vermilion Sea. Worth it. <laughs> Shall we press on? Get some free grub? Oh, yeah. Go on, man. Oh, yeah, he says. Okay. I'm going to get some bubble and squeak. <laughs> I like that. Do you know what the funny thing is? Hmm? I can't eat. All right. <laughs> well, oh yeah, you're the only one that had the idea for the for the food, and you can't eat any of it. I can't eat any of it. Um, it's yeah. fine. You can win us a free meal if we lose. Why can't you eat it? Well, it's it's a roll, but you had Dumba. All oh, right. I thought it was just shiny. Ah. He's a robot. Hey, what, a what, was shiny world, what was that? What was that world that nearly came out of your mouth there, Mick? Oh, I love what? That. what was that word that nearly came out of your mouth? You can win us a free meal. Yeah, but your bumba was a bumba. What? I don't know. You, you, you said you, you said you can't eat your bumba, and then you stopped talking. So I wondered what the rest of that word was. Bumba. I don't even know what you're about. I'm gonna be the best. There the that's the that's that's the music that's playing in the cafe as you walk in. <laughs> I'm not there just popping to it. I just <laughs> somebody walked in and oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Can I interest you in a table? I would love them. Very well. 
Please, table for three. Hmm. Will you be signing up for the uh, <clears throat> uh, battle for grub? Yes, of course. Marvellous. Please, please uh, fill out this form and uh, we will get on our way. Yep. Uh, what does the form say? Uh, I just want, it, want, it wants to know what Pokemon you're going to use and what is your wager. What Pokemon? What's a wager? You bet. Oh, is that so? Is that how much, like our limit on food? Well, it, it, it's it's how much money goes in, how much money comes out. We'll we're gonna get we're yeah. gonna get like absolutely wrecked now, aren't we? Not really. It's called the ratio, mate. Exactly. That's why I want to hmm. know what you're picking. <laughs> what? Who do you think I'm picking? Onyx. Yeah. So boring. Why? He's an absolute unit. I like. You know him. what? So I'm a f- I'm a monk. I'm gonna go choose primate. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, onyx primate. And I'll go put. How much coin should I put? What is Primate? Primate is a challenge three. With that information, I'll put three gold onto it as well. Fair enough. Also, during our rest, did my cloister heal the HP? Yeah, no, we're, 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 we're doing that. So as you rest, I rest. Yay. Like in the game when you have a sleep. Yay. That's convenient. Okay, and I'll put down Cloister, boy. All right, cool. Okay. Your chosen Pokemon are... Accepted. Challenge 10, though. Uh, it's the. It's not necessarily. It's the. It's the finding something that's confining. What's cloister? Cloister is a challenge six. Yeah, all this trying to find stuff to be fair is a bit naff. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, now you're talking. Oh, you're talking. Hmm. Okay, right. I think I found uh, I think, I think, I think, I think I found. Right, okay, so Cloister, Primate, Onyx. Yep. This is... Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Versus. Blimey. <laughs> how, how about we uh, we take down your, your bets first? I already said mine. I put three down. Yeah. So Primate, betting three. Nice. What is Cloister's... Gamble. Four. Four. Ooh. And Onyx. Six. Woo-hoo. You Damn, are six son. gold. I've got 11 gold, actually. Damn. 
Right. As I said, I'm rich. I, I'd spent six on the costumes as well. Damn, right now. Because I, I just didn't spend any money. Okay, <laughs> well, all right, all right. It's fine. Absolutely fine. And I still have five left, even if I lose, but I doubt it. Cloister. I hope I won't. Mm. Mm. Uh, right, I think I've come up with three pretty good. Yeah, three the three pretty good, pretty fair fights, I reckon. So, uh, which one of you would like to go first? I'll go first. All right. Ooh. Very nice. So, Onyx. And his opponent, Tiefling master, indeed, fighting for breakfast. <laughs> yep, six gold. Onyx and his, Onyx and his Tiefling master, Tiefling master. Yes, very nice. And I put like a Gyarados. Oh. <laughs> That is sick. I love it. I love the nature. <laughs> Blastoise, go! No! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Blastoise. Yes, oh, oh, shit! Oh, kick his butt. <laughs> Good advice to get a fisty cut. Unfortunately, with the challenge 10, it was very difficult to come up with it. Anything that high. Hmm. So, yes. Rash Oh, mate. Roll for initiative. I'm trying to find... Right, uh, uh, trying to find Onyx's sheet. You chose Onyx <laughs> ages ago. Huh? You chose Onyx ages ago. Why does it take so long to find his sheet? Don't shh me. All right. Uh, right, roll for initiative. Blast eyes. 12. 12 <laughs> is a flat roll. I don't know. Oh. Any... Yeah, it's only, it's only a flat roll. Uh, Blast eyes with a 13. Oh, boss. Blast eyes. <laughs> Blast eyes, you bought a gun. Wait a minute. Uh, sorry, it's not a great roll. Uh, plus eight, 17 to hit. What does damage resistance mean? Uh, it means that anything that I hit would be halved. Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing are all halved. Yeah, sounds about right for a giant rock snake. Sick. All right, what did you get for hit? 17. Miss. Must blast always first go. So cool. Uh construct. And um, uh, it's a DC roll. No, you have to roll the attack first, and then I have to pass the DC roll to be constricted. Oh, a nice roll. Uh what's my plus on it? Hold on. My plus. Hit plus eight to hit. Okay, that's a that's that's a twenty eight to hit. Lad. Twenty eight. No one I can do about that. So it yep. definitely hits. Yeah. Uh, and my strength roll to get out of it twenty one. So you don't get constricted, but you take a hell of a beating. Mm hmm. D ten. I need. Well, I rolled a nat twenty, so I need one. Two. I'll just find three and then roll them both twice. There you go. Blast eyes. Oh, beautiful rolls. Uh, Twelve. Twenty-one. Still going. Twenty-eight. Twenty-thirty. Thirty. Wait, twenty-eight. Thirty-three. 
42. Very nice. Good hit. Wait, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. What's my pass? What's my pass? 50, no, 48. Yep. Okay, let's go. Absolute smack. Okay, Blastoise, don't take this bullshit. Hydro pump. Oh, no. no. Hey, he's up close. 16, <laughs> 16 plus 8 is... That's uh, 24 to hit. That does hit, yeah. Whoa. By the way, on Onyx's sheet, it only says um, damage thing. It only says damage vulnerabilities to cold. Okay. Which is not water. Fair enough. That's what you think. I'm pretty sure Blastoise is going to be lukewarm, especially in this weather. Jesus. No, the the so water damage is cold damage to keep it with the tying in with the um, Dungeons and Dragons side of it. All right. So you're vulnerable yeah. to cold. You have just been hit with forty two points, which you are vulnerable to. So please take eighty four points of cold damage. Oh, <laughs> no, but it, wait, vey. is it slashing, piercing, cold? It's cold damage. Oh, balls. 48 cold so that, damage. That, 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 no, no, no. 80, 84 cold damage. Yo. And would you make His a strength... butter scratch. And would you make a strength saving throw for me, please? Let's scratch your arms off. <laughs> a strength... Your arms. Strength saving throw. Yes. 24. Okay, you're fine. You don't get pushed back 10 feet. <laughs> Wee. Blastoise. Blastoise would be a great sumo wrestler. Bash! Oh no! Right. He's gone into the crowd. Got him. Hold on, I'm trying to do maths here, lad. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in brackets. How much did he take? Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Sixty-four. My that was exactly half my health. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. The, the brackets is for Onyx, by the way. Okay. Sick one. Well, I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> With a... Blast story. What's my plus? Phone keeps turning off. <laughs> Plus eight to hit. Twenty six to hit. Twenty six hits. Cool. Could you please make a say strength saving throw? Oh, I think I, I, I think I missed that one. Five. Yes. So you're now constricted. So, yeah, cool. So now you get your 3D tan. Oh, oh my God. I rolled two tens. Uh, 20, 23 damage. Nice. Lovely. Lovely. Now I'm constricted. So... Means I've grappled, which means I've got disadvantage. Um, to 15. Because I'm up close, I'll go for bite. So 15 plus 8, 23 to hit. That does hit, yeah. And we'll do 3d10 plus 4. Battle Great Girl, you're in the way. Very nice. Uh, 8, 17, 20. Oh, 24 points of what would be piercing damage. So 12, okay. For your resilience, so half of that. So come. 
And then don't I, at the end of my turn, get to make another strength saving throw to break the grapple? You have to make... It doesn't say. Uh, all right. And I'm pretty sure when you're constricted by a massive like rock snake, you're pretty sure you're going to be constricted. Yeah, but you you can get out of constriction. Go on, roll for the rest. Roll for the rest of your turn. What do you mean? It's your turn. Oh right. Okay. Oh yeah, because you bit me. Twenty six to hit again. Twenty six hits. I mean, you're already constricted, so... And I'm just ground grappled. Yeah, okay. Um, 21. 21 damage. Okay, okay. 21 damage. No! Blastoise! Blastoise! What, is he dead? No. No. Blastoise, use water gun! <laughs> Better! <laughs> uh, 14 was the low one that is 14 plus 8 22 to hit oh, that does hit yeah uh, 19 points of damage doubled because thingy, 38 points of cold damage please 38 10 spots of scratch 30 10 to 40 26 I think 26 or 24? Hmm. Jesus. What do we mean 24? Please, huh? Okay. Blast eyes. 21 to hit. 21 hits. Cool. Reaction, withdraw. Puts my AC up by three. Causes you to miss. What the flip? On the fire. Blast boys. And then I'm going to attack. I'm definitely going to miss this turn. Oh, man. A nat 20, but disadvantage. Roll a three. There's only 11 to hit, so that's a miss. You okay? Twenty six to hit. Why am I running so many eighteens? Twenty six hits. Are you still constricted? Yes, still constricted. Cool. 25 damage. Wait, don't you hate double if you're constructed? You're like... No, I'm at disadvantage to attack. All right, okay. Blastoise, one more time. Use water gun. Oh. That missed with a nine. Cool. Damn it. Let me just roll my attack die. Should have just bitten you twice. <laughs> huh? I should have just bitten you. <laughs> um, twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five hits. God, I'm getting some gorgeous rolls on these dice. Nineteen. 26. 26. Yep. Hey. Man, I just want that free breakfast. You do want that free breakfast. Blastoise, do the fucking something, will you? Blastoise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Oh, no, 11. 11 plus... 11 plus 
Does a 19 hit on it? It does. Yay! Bite the bitch. <laughs> bite him, bite him. No, I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, 21, 24, I think. No, plus four, 25. So halved 13. Cool. <laughs> Not 20 to hit. <laughs> That's when he hits, yes. Yeah. Yeah, good strict. Plus dies. Okay, so we got 13, 23. <laughs> uh, 23, 33, 43, 50. Fifty-six damage. Wow. Big hit. Big hit. Blast eyes. Fucking water gun. <laughs> uh, ooh, I, don't, I don't know. That low is 19 to hit again. Yeah, 11. I does hit, yeah. Woohoo! Water gun! Woohoo! Awesome! And now, uh, that the is, end is near. That is 18 points, doubled to 36. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Poor Onyx. No free lunch for you. Well, no six gold pieces. Yeah. Major bet. Um, Blastoise, just so you know, Blastoise had 31 hit points left. Dang, close fight. Blastoise. Yeah. Blastoise. Rebirth Blastoise. Bitch. Do I do I get automatically healed by the shop? They better, or I'm getting my gold pieces back uh -huh. if it requires violence or not. <laughs> you and your anger, <laughs> so angry. Okay, who's next? Uh, I'll go next. Why not? Nice Yay. Uh, right, who have we got? Ha, huh, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Blast all this kill. Blast all this. Go! Ginga. Oh, what? No! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, <laughs> oh, you're very right. Okay, let's think strategy. <laughs> I love the fact that you guys are actually getting excited about who you're against. It's good. Mm. Oh, not Gengar. Fuck Gengar. <laughs> Gengar would have screwed me over. <laughs> I thought about doing it just to annoy you. I was like, I was just like, I give him a Gengar. Everything misses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, so, think, I, don't, I don't think it's quite as... Um, as quite as mean as that in Pokemon uh, D and D. Okay, a one on initiative. Ouch! Wow. That's definitely Gengar going first. Then with a with an eighteen, I'll use my seat and dunce hat and put the dice on there. Let's <laughs> use this. There we go. Fair enough. I'm going to use my. I'm going to use one of my favourite moves that any Pokemon could do. I'm going to use Lick. Yeah. Mm. I love Lick. Lick is Lick is like the stupidest move ever, but it's amazing. Uh, Twenty-four to hit. 
Um, that hits. I'm going to be the best. Oh. Uh, that is only seven points of necrotic damage. Okay. Can you... But, hold on, hold on. Oh. There's following. And the target's maximum hit points are reduced by that. Okay. What? All right, that makes sense. Cool. Yep. The yep. target's maximum hit point total was reduced by the amount the amount of damage taken. Mm. All right, sweet. As a retaliation, then, whenever a creature hits the Pokemon with a melee attack, are we assuming this is technically melee because you're touching me? Yeah, it is a melee attack. Cool. Then you will take six piercing damage. No. Reduced to three because of damage resistances. Uh, right, let's think then. What's your name? Inga, three. I'm gonna be the best there ever who was. Right, so. Yeah, that's my car. Blast eyes, mate. Give some icicle crash. Close then. Oh, I wanted to blast eyes. All right, fair <laughs> enough. All right, close to mate. Fair enough. Uh, so that'll be a 20 to hit. Wow, yeah. Then that'll be a that'll be sixteen cold damage. Don't think I'm resistant to any of that rubbish. No, that's not on the list. Sixteen cold damage. Lovely. Fantastic. Gengar, hit back with Nightshade. Oof. That's not great. Oh, I don't need to roll for Nightshade. Can you roll me a wisdom saving throw, please? Sure. That's good, because that dice roll was shine. <laughs> 16. 16, that is uh, a success. So you take half the damage. Now I just got to dig out all the dice. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Eight D eight. Um, Broke four twice. Um, Thirty three points with necrotic damage of to seventeen. Okay. Okay. So let's go for Icicle Crash again. Yay. Ginga, ginga. For a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Okay. Cool. So that will be yes, a... I may be a ghost, but I've got very low armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's already died once. Give him some credit. That'll be 20 cold damage on that one. Whoa! Wow. 
Well, I'm not do. sure how many points I've got. Not that, not that great. So a little. Mm. Oh, okay. Genga start. Genga looks in your eyes and starts going. Genga, Genga, Genga. Can you make a charisma saving throw, please? Okay. Ah, that was a one. You are asleep. Ah, boo. Oh, I wonder if that's a. Oh, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? But I've had a a status ring now. She said sleep. But yes, Cloister is now asleep. Hmm. Cool. Mm. Mm. Uh, and as a bonus action, I'm going to use Dream Eater. Oh. Oh. One sleeping Pokemon takes 4d8 psychic damage. Oh, no. Fifteen points of psychic damage. Ooh, all right then. Yeah, I like Gengar. Gengar's good. <laughs> mm. One of my the, the, the reason why Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Cloister, mate, wake up. You can use your action to roll another charisma saving throw. All right, then. Let's do that. Do I get advantage for being Australian? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Ah, that's a seven. That is another fail. Ah. Oh. Ginga, what are you fancy hitting him with? Oh, I don't know. My Ginga's gone all Australian on me. My Ginga's going to carry on using Dream Eater. Why not? Hmm. Oh, I can use that as a bonus action. Oh, two moves. Two moves. Oh, no. I'm going to use Lick as my action, uh, which might hit. Uh, that's a 21 to hit with Lick. Yes. And Lick will do ooh, six points of necrotic, of necrotic damage and will bring your maximum uh, hit point total down. Can I attempt a reaction while it's sleeping? You, to, what's to the, see? A, you want to withdraw? Yes. Yeah, I don't think you can use reactions while you're asleep. Same as you can't use reactions while you're um, paralyzed or mm. uh, use, use actual D&D words. Mm. All right, fair enough. Strange. Does his ability still work? The spiky one, you can still spike me. That's... Oh, yeah, but I was seeing if that... Yeah, no, it, he wouldn't be able to use a reaction that requires him to move if he's asleep. Mm. All right, sweet. Is effectively paralyzed. Mm. All right, then. Cool. So, what was the damage on that lick? Uh, the damage on that lick was only uh, was six. Okay. But you get, to, you get to use your prickle things against me. Yes. And I'll roll for. Remater. Oof. That's a six piercing. Six piercing, half to three. Okay, and th this is it. Oh, 15, 21, 24 points of psychic damage for Dream Eater. Oh, all right then. Ow. Uh, you'll go for a charisma saving throw. Yes, please. <laughs> Eight. Cloister's still asleep. Mm. Unbelievable. Uh, 
man, I could go in night. Can I go in nightshade? I'm just going to use lick again. I like lick. Lick's good. Uh, that'll be 21 to hit on lick. Yes. Uh, lick seven, does damage. Seven points of necrotic damage. Mm hmm. And then I'll take the prickly damage back. Uh huh. T two. Two reduced to one. Mm hmm. And then I'll do Dream Eater again. Oh, not as good as last time. Uh, 12. That's 19 points of damage. Okay. Psychic damage. And back to you for a charisma saving throw. Come on, let's get it. Cheer him on, guys. Yay! Go, Christo. Go on, Christo. You got this, buddy. What? 13. 13 still a fail. Right. I think Mr. Pierce is starting to get a bit angry now. So he'll probably, yeah. But he'll, he'll leave this one. Let's, uh, yeah. He'll see how this plays out. And we're going to go for Lick again. That will definitely miss. Uh, only a 10 to hit. Mm -hmm. But Dream Eater, Dream Eater, because he's still asleep. Uh, two ones. One, two, five, nine. Nine points. Four, eight. Nine points of psychic damage. Okay. Cool. Let's roll this charisma again. Go charisma. Nineteen. That's got to work. Come on. Yeah, he is awake. Yay. And that was his action, so that's about it. I was, just, I was actually just reading the creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of their turns. So at the end of your turn, you woke up. Uh, I've got no more dreaming. Uh, lick. <laughs> we joined Lick. Lick's rubbish. <laughs> Eight. Mm. All right, then. Come on, mate. Redeem yourself. Right. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. All right, icicle crash. Come on, lads, or one lad specifically. One. That's not a good start. No. Sixteen. That's twenty-four cold damage. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to stick with, I'm going to have to stick with Lick for the minute. That's another miss. Wow. Tender hit. Nope, that misses. Come on, I still crash. Don't fail me now. That is a 14 to hit. 14 hits. Okay. Then freaking out. Twenty eight to hit. That was two eights and two sixes. Twenty eight points, yeah. Yeah, please. Cold. Wow, but that's that's yeah. Wow. Yeah, Genga, Genga's getting that little uh, that little hashtag on his forehead now. Starting mm. to heavy breathe. Yeah, good work, Blastoise. I mean, Cloister. Gonna go for one. Gonna go for one nightshade. So can you make your wisdom saving throw, please? <sighs> oh, don't be shit. <laughs> Ten. Tens a fail, so you take ah. take all of it. Uh, well, two, four, six, eight. 
points of necrotic. Damn, okay. Psychic. 22 points of psychic. Okay. Whew, okay. I think Icicle Spike Cannon Pokemon makes a one. Cool. Let's do that again. That's a 16 to hit that one. 16 hits. Come on, lads. Four, four. That'd be a 20 cold damage. Gengar is unable to battle. Ah, oh, thank God. Whew. Because I think that was my last PP on that one. Yeah, because I'd already used it like five times. That was probably the last one. Whew. Okay. Cool. Well, just just for my own well-being, how many hit points did Cloister have left? Twelve. Man. Mm. Man. I could fight. Yeah, well done, Gengar. And I'll shake its like limp hand. <laughs> limp hand as well. <laughs> Gengar. All right, and then for the last one. Free breakfast. Primate. Yes. Come on, lad. Easy go. A little halfling dude pops out. Nido King, go! Hey, nice. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I get my Nido King page from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. In the hundred pages I've got saved on my phone. <laughs> Nido King, there we go. Nido King. Nido King. Okay. Nido King on the same page as Clefairy. Hilarious. Right. Uh, 18 for me. I got a nat 20. Very nice. Primate first. So I'm going to go <clears throat> ask it to run up. The Nido King. I'm assuming it's a thirty movement. So. First things first. Low kick. Twelve plus plus six for eighteen. 18 hits. So you're going to go take eight points of bludgeoning. Okay. And can you make me a strength save, please? That I probably can do. Uh, maybe not. Seven. You are knocked prone. Am I? Well, that's nice. Uh... Okay. If the target a medium size, the attack deals 1d8 and 2d8 damage if the target is larger sized, large sized or larger. Okay, well, I'm medium. So, so another one, D8. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, eight. Additional eight. Cool. Um, then, because I've got multi-attack. 
Go watch each up. With his varnish because I'm prone. Thirteen plus six. So nineteen. Nineteen hits. And that's additional seven points of bludgeoning damage. All right. Nido King, get up. Mm. Nido King, use horn attack. Uh, which will be 14 to hit. Hits. Excellent. Please take eight points of piercing damage. And can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? So that's... Was it damage? Couldn't save. 14 plus 2, 16. Oh! Oh, you made it. You made it. But you take half the damage, which will reduce it down to 11 points of poison damage. Oh, damn. A horn attack, yeah. Mm. And as I get multi attack, you slam! They're definitely going to hit. Eight, 18 to hit on slam. You hit that hits. And can you take me? Nine points of bludgeoning damage, please. Cool. Sure, go cool. So, I'm gonna go use the ability. Oh, my is that bonus action? Yeah, so I'm gonna use my bonus action to fresh. Okay. We all remember. Okay, the, that's perfect. We all remember the move Thrash. So I'm going to try again with Low Kick first. Okay. 11 plus 6. 17. 17 hit. So that's 8 damage. That's quite yeah, funny. Tra it's... Thrash is almost like rage for Primate, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, scratch that. It's A on a dice plus extra four. For six, for... So 12. For raging. Yeah. Yeah, it's like rage for Primates. Interesting. <laughs> That's 12. Um. What's next? Yeah. Uh, can you make me a strength save, please? Uh, yes, I think I can. Uh, 16. Cool, you're not prone. But I'm still going to go judo chop you in the throat. <laughs> again, it's 11 plus 6, so 17 again. Yeah, it's... For... Seven plus four. Eleven. Eleven points of bludgeoning. Nice. Cool. Nido King, again. We're going to go with Hall Attack, which will be uh, eleven plus seven, eighteen. That hits. Uh, so you will take... 11 points of piercing damage. Can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? Uh, 
Um, I'll take half of the eleven. Okay. Oh, because you're raging. Yep. And uh, yeah, and a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> now on a two on a dice plus two to four. <laughs> I'll just get the dice out. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, poor Pimek. Uh, 6, 11, 13, 15, 16, 18 points of poison damage. No, so 71, take away 18. 53. Plus half of 11. Uh, half 11 would be 6, so 47 left. Thank you. And follow that up with some slam. Yep. Yeah. Miss nine to hit. <laughs> cool. Come on, slam, and welcome to the jam. <laughs> Let's try again. Hey, do what you're gonna do? Hey, you. What this time, I'm gonna go use one of my character traits. Oh, so I chose Battle Master. I'm going to go use what my superiority die. Which one is it? Precision strike. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go let him use that on the low kick if it hits. That don't hit, sadly. Hmm. But I, mean, I can use Reckless to get advantage. I still don't hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Karate chop. That's a 16 plus 6. Yeah, it hits. So that's additional. That's seven plus my D eight, or because I'm going to use superiority die on mm -hmm. any that hit. That's an additional four plus the four for raging. Yep. And that is fifteen. Yep, that's exactly how many it was. Nido King is going to use. Are you done? Yeah. Need, yeah, I'm done. Nido King's multi attacking again with horn attack. Uh, horn attack 17 to hit. Uh, first, hit. Roll, uh, first roll is pretty good. Make that constitution saving throw for me. it be eight points of piercing damage, so half to four. That is a dirty 20. Cool, so you'll take half of the con save. which And one? half of the bludgeoning. Yeah, so you'll take another uh, 11, 15 points altogether. So that's 32. Slam! Natural 20! Ah... Uh... Yeah, no. go on. <laughs> yeah, but Slam's not great. Slam's not good at all. Um, I mean, that's only... What, four, eight, it's only 12 points of bludgeoning damage, so half to six on a nat 20 on Slam. <laughs> I just panic when I hear double. I know. <laughs> yeah, we all do. <laughs> Oh, looking grim. You know what I'm going to go do? going to go try again. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> Break his leg. Four. 
for 80 on the die, which... Hits, definitely hits. Definitely hits. But, because I got... What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, damn. Well, it works on quiet Chop. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah, wrong move. Um, so that's eight on the die plus four. Twelve points. Twelve. Yeah, strength saving throw. Yep. Uh, that will be uh, a magnificent seven. So you're prone. Take another one d eight. So I'll go roll well that. Another two points of um, bludgeoning. Yep. And now I'm going to karate chop you <laughs> with advantage. Mm-hmm. Because I'm laying on the ground. Lovely. Twelve. Or is that a twelve to hit? Oh, uh, twelve on a die plus six. Uh, eighteen. So eighteen. So that's. Seven plus four, so eleven. Wow! Yeah, need a need a king looking bruised. Looking Not as bruised as poor boy, mate. <laughs> Horn attack. Twenty-one to hit. Definitely hits. Make a Constitution saving throw, please. Ugh. Um, 15. Oh, 15 is a DC. Boo. Beats it, beats it. Half of that. Um, uh, can't count. Brain's gone dead. That's it. Uh, so six, 13, uh, 19. 10 points of poisoning damage plus the three points of piercing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting close. But slam eighteen hit. No, nineteen hits. Still hits. Yeah, that's right. Uh three plus four to seven. Four points of bludgeoning damage halved. That's already halved. So four points leaves you nine. And and I'll try again. Low kick. <laughs> You'd low kick. I'm gonna go try reckless. For 14, 14 plus six. Oh, 14 plus six. Four, yes, that is. Um, so that's eight plus four. Um, that's 12. Can you make a strength save? Uh, I can. 20, 20, 30, 20. Cool. If this quality drop hits, I'm going to use another superiority die. Okay. Thirteen. Um. So my highest roll is a thirteen. Plus six. Hits is a nineteen. Yep, it hits. That's. A seven plus four, which is eleven plus superiority die, which is a four, number fifteen. Whoa, he's looking in trouble. Oh. Can he save himself with a horn attack? Can he save himself with a horn attack? I don't think he can. That's, uh, that is a 13 to hit. 13? Yeah. Beats it, beats it. Oh! <laughs> oh, well, constitution saving throw. Oh! That is 12 points, so six points of piercing damage. 
Oh, oh no, it's on my. Well, it's gonna it's gonna take a really it's short nineteen run. on a die. So you, you failed the Constitution saving throw, which will be well nineteen oh. on the die plus two. Say that again. Nineteen on the dice. All right, two. So half half it then, um, which is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so half half nine. I'm down anyway because I've only had nine left. Man, oh. Ah, uh, 16, 16 hit points Nido King had left. Oh, <laughs> I will 16. shake hands with the trainer. Primate is unable to battle. You done well, bud. You done well. <laughs> Something share. Oh. As you leave the little cafe battle arena area, everybody's clapping and applauding uh, for the entertainment. All roll me a d20. Well, flat out. Yeah, just a flat d20. 16. Five. You're muted. Thirteen. Thirteen, sixteen, what was fists? Five. Oh. <laughs> I'm still tending to poor climb ape. <laughs> the 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 roused audience throw thirty four silver pieces at you. Who? All uh, of us. Yeah. All of us. Oh cool. I think I should take all of it because I lost all the money. You lost all your money. Uh, no, not all of it. I was going to say you you backed Onyx like that, did you? <laughs> I didn't have that much faith in him, Jesus. But yeah, well, that's all right. I mean, Cloister managed to double his money to eight gold. Hmm. Yeah, and if we do the mathematics, if 34 silver were thrown at us, that's about 11 and a third each, and I'll split my 11 and a third and give it to Fist and Burger. Oh, sorry, uh, Broger. <laughs> um, 11 and a third divided by 2 equals 5.8 5. 3333. Right, so you both get 5.8333333 silvers. <laughs> Five points. So you just run up to five. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and I'll have an extra silver left over for me. I'll give it to some kid. So why not? You're gonna have actually 20, no, I won't do that. Twenty more. So thirty four silver. Mm -hmm. Right between between the three of you. Right, so you're going to have 16 mm -hmm. each and Pierce is going to have two if he's keeping any. Yes. Ooh. No, no, give those two to... Those right, two. so you're just going to share. So, okay, so you get 17 silver each. Which is one... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's a good... I did the long... I, I did the long-winded maths where I could have just divided by two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, seven each for those. Two. 17 silver... Ah, uh, I'm a mathematician. So you lost all your gold, but you still got some money back. Oh no, I, I gave myself platinum. That's not right. No, it definitely isn't. <laughs> you tried to cheat. <laughs> Whoopsies. He's his cheat codes. <laughs> they didn't do anything. But no, I just use a cheat code. You managed you managed to get uh, you managed to get yourself a um a sensible, a sensible breakfast. Even though you you actually came out of there, um, three gold, no, hang on, nine, five gold pieces down as a group. The joys of the joys of gambling, but you managed to get yourself a a, a sensible breakfast. The time no, now, I bet six. Yeah, and you lost it, and fist bet. 
three and lost to them. So you lost nine, but you won four back. So you lost five altogether. As a group, you know, team. Right, yeah, okay. I'll turn the end to Sush, especially your and, father. And pff, you must be joking. Charles got no manners or respect. <laughs> but as you leave the, the battle camp... In the army. They'd kick him out with their haircut. <laughs> That should work. I'd have to get like a buzz cut. But as you, at least a little bit shorter than this. As you leave the battle calf, it's about that time that you think about starting to go and queue for your um, tour of the Aztec building. And you can see that there's... Oh. You forgot about that, didn't you? You can see that there's a long queue of people waiting outside the building for the doors to open. Shall we begin? <laughs> oh, we're still in our um, start of onesies, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to stay yeah. in them because we're wanted. Yeah, fair enough. By cool. people working for Aztec. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, I'm sorted. <laughs> just, just wanted to clarify. <laughs> so you walk up. You join the end of the queue, and that's where we'll finish tonight's episode. Cool. Hey, all right then. Thank you very much for watching another uh, Pokemonic episode of D&D &D Misfit Adventures. Um, until the next time, take care.